Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying fractions. Now when we multiply two fractions together, it's very simple. All we need to do is multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So if we do the 3 times by the 2, we just get 6. And if we multiply the 5 by the 7, then we get 35. And then we might be able to simplify that fraction. But the thing is, 6 and 35 don't have any common factors, so we can't simplify that fraction further. Now for the second one, we can use a slightly more advanced method, and this is called cross-cancelling. Now we could just, again, do the 2 times the 9 to give 18, and the 3 times 8 to give 24, but then we would have to subsequently simplify the fraction. But we can actually simplify before we start multiplying. And what we do is we identify common factors diagonally. So the 2 and the 8, they have a common factor of 2, so we can divide them both by 2. So this becomes 1, and this becomes 4, because 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now, although I've changed each individual fraction, because 2 thirds is clearly not the same as 1 third, the overall result remains the same. And then this diagonal is anything I can cross-cancel. Well, 9 and 3, they both have a common factor of 3. So we can divide the 9 by 3 to get 3, and the 3 by 3 to get 1, and that makes the multiplication much easier. So we've got 1 times 3, which is 3, and 1 times 4, which is 4. And by using this method, I don't have any subsequent simplification to do.